All right, so Lucinda Brand is an absolutely outrageous side cross rider. Won the Europeans last year, had some really good early results before she fractures uh, her wrist. Um, but anyway, we're going to go through her training, go through some of her results later on in the season and see why that uh, made her have a really good preparation for cyclocross. And then we're going to stop just before the welter and I'm going to make another video uh, about more cyclocross specific stuff. But this is more just like basically how you should train uh, building up to cyclocross. Obviously, this is in context of a road rider. Um, so first of all, we've got uh, my color coding. It looks quite confusing, but we'll go through this all first. So assumptions as to her weight is 58 kilos, threshold 276, and that gives you a threshold of 4.8. So not crazy um, for women's, but also not, not, not too bad either. Like strong, but not like mental, like Van Bluten will be five and a half, maybe more. Anyway, so I've color coded it. So red is a hard ride, blue is a run, uh, purple race, green is endurance or blow, and black is cross. She sometimes says her rides are mountain bike, but they look like they're on cross courses. So one of them, the first one I said mountain bike, but after that I just assume they're cross. They might not be, but they're definitely an off-road ride. Okay, so we're going to start off quite early on, actually, um, in July. And you might say, why do you start in July? It was just because she had a week off the, um, the week before, and she had a nice like four-week build-up, which you'll see with the hours down here. So these are the total of hours for the week. Uh, so yeah, we'll just... We'll just basically go. She generally does three day blocks. So you can see you're just starting off with an easy day off. Does two hours low zone two. So when I say low zone two, it's like 160 watts, about 59 to 55% of threshold, around that 55 to 60%. Day off, easy rides. This is a classic staple ride of hers, which is like 10 second sprints, like not max, I don't think, followed by 50 seconds of zone two, which I guess is maybe quite similar to cross. Um, she has a lot of running, starts running early as well, which I think is really important for cross. If you are going to start running, you want to start when your training is not too serious. Um, and then she did some 30 second sprints. Her best 30 second sprint was 573 watts, which is like close to 10 watts per kilo. So again, not bad. And then another run. And the run is done at a really easy pace as well. So starts off in July, sort of nine and a half hours, nothing too crazy. And you can see this, this is actually quite a long block. This is like a five day block. And then there's four hours low zone two as well there. Day off. And then we're back into sort of a three, four day block. Um, here again, low zone two. She did a Camise, which she finished eighth, which was Ran Sham. You can see the, the racing here as well, um, which is good. Sorry, she finished sixth in Ran Sham. That, that's the race uh, titled. One and a half hours at 240 normal. So nothing crazy for her. Into 10 second sprints, 50 seconds off. Uh, I believe this was done for about 10 minutes this time. A recovery ride, 133 normalized, followed by a day off. So she has to do a four day block, but the last one is quite easy. You can see. Oh, actually, no, well, to be fair, it's a five-day block. But I think I don't know. That I thought it was a three-day block, but I think maybe it just sort of depends what is going on. Anyway, then she has a crit the following day. No power data, um, but I'm pretty sure she got an okay result. Oh, no, actually, that wasn't... There was no data on this. It was a bit weird. I don't know what this was, but it would look like a hard race because the average speed was quite high. Um, then we go into a harder session, and you might say, why is she doing back-to-back -back sessions? And I think it makes sense because in cyclocross, you quite often race back-to-backs on the weekend, the Saturday and the Sunday, and especially around the Christmas period, there's a lot of races. So being able to do efforts fatigued, I think is really important. And also she is a road rider, so she has to do road races, therefore has to have repeatability. So you can see 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off the standard. Then she did some 2040s and they're both of them were four minutes. Then she did three by five at threshold, which is not too hard, too hard of a, um, an intensity, intense session, just because you get eight minutes rest and five minutes at threshold. It was maybe a bit at higher, like 300 watts, and it was 105%. But just, you know, building in the intensity slowly, but, you know, there nonetheless on the training rides. But she's still doing crits, had a day off, and then um, came second in this crit. Again, 245 normas for an hour and a half. Uh, she did a double day today run. Um, again, it was like half an hour run and an hour recovery ride. Easy endurance ride. And then she also, in the morning and then in the, in the afternoon, she did GP Bole, uh, which again, she came second, hour and a half, like 250 normas. So... You can see there's sort of a pattern here of generally, you know, a decent amount of zone two, but also, you know, uh, some racing as well, getting involved um, as well, which I guess makes sense because she is training for some roads. And you can also see she then, she then does another race the following day, 233 normalized. So again, actually, you know, a fair amount of racing here. And I'd say you might be surprised by that. I, I was, I, I thought it would be more lower zone two sort of stuff. Um, there is that, but not as much. Anyway, then she has a day off. Uh, and then straight into a, a five-day stage race. Did not load on to the final stage, but she actually had a really good results all around. Um, sixth in this one here, 434 watts for last minute, um, 230 normalized. And then this one was 570 watts for 30 seconds, which is, again, almost 10 watts per kilo at the end of a race. Very impressive. And then on the summit finish, finished ninth. So you can see, again, the results in Taurus Scandinavia, very consistent. 
um, eighth overall in a women's world tour. Very good. Um, she then came back uh, and didn't race for a bit, actually. She had a good good training blocks, had a day off, and then did a cross ride. I think maybe felt tired because another day off here. So, you know, definitely an easier three days. Um, and then she had a hard four-hour ride, five minutes, 10 seconds on, 40 seconds off. And I did seven minutes of it. So that's quite a lot, a lot more than what she was starting off with. Um, and then she did a lot of sprints, six seconds and 15 seconds. The five second peak um, was 752, 15 seconds, 16, 6, 661. Again, sprinting makes sense. Cross, you need to do the sprinting, but also for the road, um, you know, she's always quite a punchy rider. Then an easy five and a half K run, so half an hour. And then this was actually a really tough day after the run. I guess this is a pseudo recovery ride for her because she's quite used to running. So it's probably not too stressful on her. And then this is again, 10 minutes of 10 seconds, 50s, and then three by 10. I don't know if the 10 second, 50 second is to like prime anaerobic system or to like, I don't really know why you want that for tempo, but maybe it's to try and deplete it. And then she did three by 20 tempo with like 10 to 20 minutes rest. Um, those were done at like 260-ish, 240 to 260. So pretty decent efforts. Um, then a day off. And then this is actually a pretty rough week. Does a Derny wins, uh, easy run and ride. Um, easy ride again and then did a mountain bike i don't know if this is a cross ride she said mountain bike but it looked like it was a cross ride so take that with a pinch of salt that could be a first cross ride um again black is cross so you can see not too much cross training but it is sort of like cross cycling <laughs> training obviously a lot of cross training with running but not cross specific training uh and then this again was like two hours um and she did some 30 second max sprints with two and a half minutes in between otherwise it was pretty chill and again a run and then this was a steady ride, 117 heart rate for 60, 160 normal miles is pretty, shows pretty aerobically fit. Uh, and then again, we go into a team camp. So this was the beginning of the team camp, a mountain bike ride and an easy road ride. And this is a really hard block, actually. This this two weeks here is super, super impressive because she does a one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven day block almost um, with very little rest day. This is probably the only rest day, two hours easy and then two hours cycle across. Um, the steady away was like three and a half hours, so not that easy. And then this was like a five hours, but it was like, I think they rode with the men, so it looked quite hard, like a heart rate was relatively high. Um, and then this session is pretty grim as well, five hours of efforts. I think they were just battering each other because it looked pretty grim, but this was a cross specific training camp. And then she did a 30 minute run, an hour and a half, super easy, and then did some cycle cross today. Um, and this all led up to the welter, which she then did, which is another like five day stage race. So again, you can see day off, pre-race ride, no numbers for the time trial, but team time trial, but she won. She actually won the Queen of the Mountains overall. And yeah, you know, here are some of the numbers I picked out. Uh, looked good on stage eight, like pretty, uh, sorry, stage two. Uh, pretty good climbing earlier on in the stage. Again, eight minutes at 5.2. That's it was like a pro performance for women. So again, pretty impressive. Uh, and then the rest of them, not not crazy. Um, I think this is where she won the QN competition overall. I think early on she did a lot of climbs, like five minutes, but four to five watts per kilo. So... You might say, Charlie, okay, you ramble through our training. Like, what, what's the large takeaway? Well, the large takeaway is the hours are not mental. Um, you know, some of the stage races are 21 hours or so, and the, the team camp was pretty big as well, 23. But, you know, considering the, the cross race is an hour, it is quite aerobic. I mean, 50 minutes for the women, but close enough to an hour. I would have expected maybe slightly more hours, uh, but that was not the case. And what I would say is that she does the classic, 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 block periodization so you can see she does some efforts here like a fair amount of efforts like this is not polarized at all um that's one thing she does a lot of efforts but what she really does i feel like is she has really big weeks and then super super easy so you'll see like the week after the welter was like literally three hours so i think that's the thing is it, to really take in, away from this if you are training for cross or a bit late now but any goal is that like if you are going to use your intensity i think you have to have easy re really easy day weeks um, and so the week before this was like two hours and you can see she slowly built up this this week is not too hard you know like one day of intensity and a oh, so two days of intensity with a race that's sort of okay and not crazy hours either this this is a little bit of a harder block and then again you can see like super hard block uh after including uh scandinavia but then three days off a hard ride um and then an easy ride hard ride easy day and like i think that's the point is that it's like pretty uh what's it, what i was to say like pol polarizing sense of like really hard or e easy but in terms of m like a macro period but i would say if stevens i looked at this it was not 80 20 is it like uh, so, like it really is a lot of hard efforts and i think maybe that's underrated by people that actually like especially the women they always do more efforts than the men because their races are shorter so they're a bit more intense uh but yeah those are the things i say to take away uh block prioritization is key i would highly recommend if you do stage races you should do them because they really build you on 
as a person, uh, like as, as an athlete, like you definitely can respond to training better afterwards. But if you can't do it, maybe, you know, maybe do a team camp with your friends for five, four, five days um, and, you know, just whack it like, you know, a couple, maybe it's some easy days, but mainly just like quite hard um, and you'll just get used to it. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. Um, I'll come out with a second part very soon. Uh, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.